so in this video we will talk about one more scenario that if you are inside the general ledger and if you are creating a voucher or line level information then when we'll click a new item and if we are uh, giving the value is greater than 1000 then it will show a particular message okay and that it, the credit amount should be less than 1000 so if we'll try to save it it will throw an error so this we have done using our event handler table event handler using the insert method but if we'll try to change the value okay and if we'll update it it will not show any kind of message so let me remove this one so if again if we'll save it you will get no error over here because first time when we'll save it it will uh, use the insert method but whenever we will try to update the value for example here we will give the 3000 like this and if we will save it it will update its value so if you want to show the same message send the same type of message at the time of update you have to use the event handler for the update method and you can use it using the pre event handler for the update method so how we'll do that let me show so this code we have written in our previous example now i'll show you that if we'll go to the ledger journal and if we'll go to the method section so here you can see that method node is there from here you can get the update method okay so from here you can see there is a update method is there so if you want to copy the event handler you can also do that uh, for example if we'll click the pre event handler and if we'll paste it over here then you can see that it is a pre event handler and it will be applied on the update method and if you want to access the uh, amount credit which is associated with that credit uh, uh, credit field then you can copy or you can use it using the table buffer so you have to you can also do this uh, do the same thing uh, uh, for this particular uh, field okay and using the arcs you can also take the table buffer and if you want to show the message at the time of update then you have to apply the same condition if it is credit amount is greater than uh, if someone is typing greater than 1000 value then you can show the message same message that credit amount must be less than 1000 then you can separate one give a message update is not possible update is not possible like this and at the time of the insertion you can also give one message that insert is not possible right so but i'll not give the message like here but at the time of update to show the result that it is actually trying to update that's the reason i am just giving this particular message update is not possible right so if we'll save it okay and to reflect it in the front end you have to build the project once again so uh, let me build it again here what will actually happen it will happen whenever uh, user will give the value greater than 1000 it will uh, show a error message but it will update the value in the back end why because we are not restricting the update process here but uh, if you want to restrict the update process then you can restrict in the validate field method itself you can use that method but at the time of insertion or updation if you want to show any kind of error message we can also do that using this way now let me check that the build process is completed or not so if we'll, if we'll go a little bit below then here you can see that our build process completed right now uh, uh, to see the result we can go into the front end and i'll refresh the page again now again uh, go inside this general journal and try to create a new record okay now you can see that we are inside so when you will create a new item and if we'll give the value greater than 1000 then if we'll 
click on the save button you can see the message that credit amount must be less than 1000 okay now let me remove this one and try to update again using 5000 okay and try to save it now you can see that one another message is actually showing credit amount must be less than 1000 update is not possible the first message is came from the uh, insert method event handler and this second one is coming from the event handler class and for the update method itself but if you'll remove it and if you'll try to save it you can see that it is uh, also saying the same message over here credit amount must be less than thousand update is not possible but if you click the new item over here then you can see that 500 is actually taken so what kind of error is this this is an error because it is showing the error message but it is updating in the packet but if you want to restrict the value to be inserted in this table then you have to use the validate field uh, value or validate field uh, method which is present in the table so if you don't want if you want to learn more about the validate field method you can see our previous video we already discussed about it you can restrict the value of a field and it will be it will not uh, give you the chance to save the value if you will not make it correct okay so it will throw the error message but at this point of time we have just shown that or how you can show the error message if a uh, certain credit amount value is actually um, is greater than 1000 value okay so i hope now it's clear but other than this if you want to make the this value uh, as a parameter you can also do that this is not the best practice to use the static value like here also for this kind of uh, label or string literal you can use the label file so thanks for watching this video if you have any question you can ask it in the comment section we'll try to give you the solution as soon as possible so thank you again see you in the next one till then take care bye bye